What's good everybody? It's your girl Joanne Gray and I'm back today with another full wig review. Today's wig is from the Janet Collection. This is a 100% human hair wig and it is called Nana. I'm going to call her Nana because Nana gave me fits. It is a human hair wig. I don't know what human this hair came from because it's very coarse and straight. As well, I put the flat iron on a piece of it just to see if I could curl any of the pieces and it wouldn't budge so I don't know if the hot curlers weren't if they weren't um, hot enough or what but I you know once I put it in there and it didn't do much I just said forget about it okay this wig I've had for months and it's been giving me fits and I had a brainstorm so I woke up and um, well got up and decided I was going to wash this wig and put it on the mannequin on the uh, foam head and then start working with it. What I did was I thought about my Nana wig from the Dina Kelly slash Bobby Boss collection and it's a faux hawk wig. So what I did was I got my Nana wig, uh, did my baptism. Now I want to clarify baptism for people or just to help you understand where to go with the baptism. When you put your wig inside of the water you may put the stiff, let me show you, remember the furry cap? You may take this furry cap and it's coarse and it's almost like it's freeze dried. I'm, I, I mean it's the only way I can explain it. It's, it's dry, it's different. When you put it in water, it'll start to sway like the Little Mermaid, like it's underwater. When that happens, that's when you take it out of the water because I didn't really give you a time frame because I kind of know when because I've been doing this for a while but for you when the hair starts to sway then you take it out and then you put it on the mannequin head and start to comb or brush and don't be afraid to comb and brush these wigs they need it they require it okay so I put Nana in there in the water and Nana didn't move Nana's like porcupine hair I'm, I'm not really sure whose head this whose ever hair this is you have no business donating to wigs so I don't even know if to give this wig a two thumbs up. For the style, I would say yes, I give it two thumbs up. But the time that it takes to achieve a style like this, I don't know if it's worth it. But this wig was six dollars from the Rocky Trading site, and sometimes you get what you pay for. But we'll get into that a little later. Okay, the color of this wig is called Top TT 1B slash 30 M 1B 30. So that gives me the impression that you can get a top, the top half of this, the little porcupine top, you can get this in another color and then have the back surrounding in another color. So maybe you can get a full wig, I mean a full color wig like a number two with a 1B30 at the top. You know, I don't really know what the um, colors are available, but I bought something that I thought would work for me, the 1B30. As well, when you buy human hair wigs, the colors are rich and vibrant and the, they're the colors that they're supposed to be. So a number two is brown and a number one is jet black. A number one B is off black and you can distinguish them very well. Okay, the 30, whatever color a 30 is, and I should know that by now because I keep saying I don't know. Um, and maybe it's an auburn, a light auburn. Um, but I, I tend to favor the 1B 30 mixes, but a 30 wig I believe washes me out. It's just my you know, opinion. But uh, So I bought the 1B30. As well know that when you buy human hair mixed colors sometimes that second number is more prominent. So this wig looks like a red wig as opposed to a black wig with red highlights. So this is a top TT 1B30 M 1B30. So, in other words, it's a 1B30 mix. The top is 1B30, and the mix in the the uh, surrounding areas, the perimeter of the wig, is a 1B30. Okay. So, again, let me show you this picture, and I'll show you what I came up with. Hopefully, if you purchase this wig, you haven't given up on it, and what I've done to it can lead you in some direction because it's really hard to know. This wig comes with the porcupine spikes at the top and then the back, the front goes to the side and the back just lays flat on your head. So again, I took the wig, did the baptism, put it on the mannequin head and I sat in front of my space heater. I have a little 
area heater and just brush the wig and I brushed for a long time almost until it dried and when it dried I had I had brushed it into the faux hawk which is the Bobby Boss Nana Dina Kelly look so I'm going to show you how it came out okay on your side view you see I've got the hair frame in the front of my face and the rest I kind of just finger combed I mean well yeah finger combed I used my fingernails and just kind of manipulated the hair and I used water which I told you is my styling tool once I wet these wigs and they dry water helps you manipulate the hair better because they're softer more pliable more movable and I just used my fingernails to you know use to put those grooves in there to separate the layers and give it some wave to it and then I, I had already brushed it into the uh, faux hawk look. And then here's the back of the wig. You see your little faux hawk line. And then I'll show you the top. Okay. And then for this side, the same thing. I, the hair frames the face. I, the back, I, I had to go back. I finger combed back. One of the things uh, about this wig is it was defective. I don't know if it's just a defective way that they manufactured this wig or I had a defect in the wig but you know once you get them and start messing with them it's, it's your wig so you find a way to make the best of it now what I did was oh well let me show you the wig what happened was right here where the where the spikes are and the back of the hair that that's laying down meet it doesn't meet it's, it's separate it's, it's separated just like this okay so when you do your faux hawk look for this wig, if you choose to do a faux hawk of course, when you do this look for your wig, it's going to be a gap between the, the uh, porcupine spikes here and the mohawk spikes back here. Just like this. And uh, just about that large. What I, and it looks like a track is pasted in there. You can see a black track and I don't know if, if it was sat if they sat it in there to camouflage the you know the wig westing but it just did the wig a great disservice especially for what I was trying to do with it because there's no way Joanne Gray will be rocking this particular hairstyle no sir and I don't want to see you in it like this either so please try to rework this wig what I did was I took where the space was I took the, I, I went right where that track was and I just rolled it on top of itself, you know, rolling, and stuck two bobby pins, and put this down, and stuck two bobby pins in there, and it made the crack seal. So now you see the hair is together. But it was not at first. So all in all, I probably invested an hour of my time trying to rework this wig from start to finish with the drying time included. It just was a lot of work for a $6 wig. And I wouldn't recommend this wig unless you were some sort of stylist or you just had some idea or if you just, you know, you, or you already have it rather and you want to have a starting point or a basis or know what you can and cannot do with this wig. This wig does not really soften up. It's not, uh, it, it's stiff. For human hair, I don't know whose hair it is, really. Um, I was looking through the packaging to see if it was that um, hair-like, human hair-like, but it is supposedly human hair. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, it comes with two combs in the front and one comb in the back. It also has the adjust adjustable strap. The wig cap is large so if your head is any smaller than mine you may want to stay away from it because um, it, it, it does have combs so that may help you but it is a loose fitting cap so if you have a larger size head this will work for you very very well. Um, okay, I mentioned it gave me fits. I mentioned I'm going to call it um, Nana instead of Nana and anyway I hope you like it um, I did not cut this wig I intentionally didn't cut it but I could have taken the scissors to it but I wanted to make sure that I could make sense 
of the Janet Collection Nana wig. Wanted to make sure that I could work this wig as is. And I wanted to show you that it can be worked. I only used water and then once I got the got it on my head and kind of shaped it to my head, I put the wig shine on it just to give it some luster. Okay. So I think it's nice. And I think you'll like it. So this is the end of my review. I'll be back later with another wig review. God bless.